Hey guys, welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to register and enroll the admin certificates. So before doing that, let me create one directory here in the first. So I will create one directory and I will keep all of my files that are generated in this folder only. So I am going to create one folder and let's go inside this folder HLF K demo. This is the folder that I created and now I can simply register the admin and then I can enroll the admin as well. So let me put up the command for that as well. So this is the command which is going to register our admin for us and here uh, we are passing up the, our CA. So the CA was org1 CA and the username is admin. The password for that is basically a secret for that is admin pw and the type of identity that this is is an admin entity. Then here we are giving the enrollment details like enrollment id and the enrollment password and after that we are giving up the org msp. So this is this this we are doing for the org1. So we, I have given the org1 msp and the namespace is uh, fabrics in our case. So let me hit enter. So this is going to register the identity uh, and admin entity and now after that we can enroll that uh, identity as well. So the admin entity got successfully registered. Now we can enroll that identity as well. So here what I am going to do. Uh, so this is the command which is going to enroll the identity this CA so the CA name is org1 CA and then the username was admin that we registered this was its secret and here we are giving the CA name so our CA internally has two kind of CA so first one is the TLS CA and the second one is the certification CA so that gives you the enrollment certificate and all those things and the other CA which is the TLS that gives you that handles all the TLS stuff so we are going to enroll this identity uh, with the help of this CA the normal CA and then I am giving the output flag and I want to keep uh, the enrollment secrets and enrollment identity in this file which is org1pa.yml and uh, this is the org id, this is the msp id and this is the namespace. So let me hit enter and as a result of this command you can see one file will get generated with this name org1-pa. Yeah, so enrollment was successful and if I do ls here, ls here, we can see that we have org1 hyphen peer and if I, let me just clear this and if I do cat of that file, you can see that we have the certificate and this is the signing certificate and this is the private key here. We can decode this as well. Let me try to uh, decode this. Let me clear this. Let's run open SSL x509 then hyphen 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 text and the hyphen name I can get it from here okay I think I have to remove this let me do this thing let me create one file cert dot pem let me put it here let me save this and then i can run open ssl x509 and input is cert dot pem and then i can do text okay uh i think i have to remove the spaces as well so let me open this inside the code editor so this is the file uh, i'll just copy it and i will open my certificate cert file as well and uh, basically this is due to the spacing that we have let me just remove the spacing yeah and now if I just run that open 
SL command. Here we can see, we can see all the details. And uh, if we go to the subject, here we can see this is the subject. The identity belongs to admin. So we can see all of this stuff. So let me clear up this. And now in the similar way, let's uh, do this for the awk2 as well. So first we have to register the identity and then we have to enroll the identity. So let me just copy this command. Let me quickly put up the command here. So the command looks fine to me. Let's hit enter. So the registration part is successful. Now we can enroll it as well. So and the enrollment output is going to be stored in this file, which is awk2pa.yml. Let me hit enter. Yeah, so this is also fine. Now I can clear up the terminal and uh, So now we have successfully enrolled the admin entries for both awk and now we can create the connection profile for them as well. So let me put up the command to create the connection profile and the command is very straightforward. So the command is kubectl hlf inspect and this is the output where we want to keep our connection profile and then uh, with hyphen o flag you can specify the number of organization that you want to keep as the part of connection profile. So I want to generate the connection profile for org1 msp, order msp and the org2 msp as well. So let me hit enter. And as a result of this, we should have one network config uh, .yml file that should hold the connection details for uh, the peers and the order as well. So it got created successfully. Let me open my code editor here itself. Let me clear this one. Yeah. So now here we have this file which is generated here and basically this is the connection profile you can see all the organization details like org on msp or org to msp and then uh, the order section is you know empty right now because right now we don't have any order in our network and after that we have the peer section here so this is the peer section and then we have the certificate for that as well tls certificate and similarly we have peer 2 for org 1 and in the similar way we have the peers and after that we have the certificate 30 as well so this is the certificate 30 and then we have the tls certificate for the certificate 30 which you can use to you know enroll and register the users and then we have the channel section there we have defined some of the uh, basic configuration like the ledger query the chain code query and endorsing pair all these things so this is it in the this file and now what we can do is so we can add these uh, identity that we generated as the previous step these uh, admin entries into this connection profile uh, so that we have the admin entity here as well and our uh, uh, our our cli should be able to uh, communicate with those peers as well using these identities so now uh, let's add that identity uh, to the network config file so let me put up the command for that and basically here we are just use, uh, using this add util command uh, add user that is going to add this file which was org1-peer that basically contained the admin entity into this network config file and the username was admin and this is the msp id under which we want to add this identity so if i hit enter so that got added successfully and here as well we can see let me just shrink this down so inside this org msp section we can see the admin entry here this one and we can see the signing certificate and as well as the uh, private key for that as well now let's quickly do this same thing for the this file as well which is org2 hyphen peer so this is the command just here we have to change this to org2 and the msp id we have to also change so now if we see that file again inside this org2 we can see that inside the org2 msp we have our admin certificate as well as the private key 
also i just want to show you one more thing so if you remember we just ran that command uh, which gave us the network config so there is one flag uh, using that you can generate the network config in the in the service name form rather than the ips because right now you see that uh, this network config contains the ips ip address of the nodes here but if you want to use this file internally within within the kubernetes cluster maybe you can have an api server and that is communicating to your uh, this connection profile via this connection profile to your uh, blockchain network then you can use the that file inter for the internal communication and the flag for that is hyphen a i guess that is hyphen a and here let me just rename this file to something as let me call it as app network config Okay, let me do hyphen hyphen help here. Okay, so the flag for that is hyphen hyphen internal internal equal to true. So this is going to create a network this file app network config that contains that will not contain the IP address, it will contain the service names and you can use this within the Kubernetes cluster. But for our demonstrations, we will be going to use the other file, which is network config. Why? Uh, because uh, we are not inside the Kubernetes cluster and we are running this commands, all the commands outside of the Kubernetes cluster. So if I just show you that file here as well. So here you will see that this is using the service names rather than the you know IP addresses. And in the similar way, you can add uh, that those users to this file as well. So if I have to add the users, what I can do instead of can configure, I can keep app network config. And similarly, I can do this for the org one as well. Yeah. So here, this has now the certificates as well, the admin certificate. Here we can see that this is the app network config and we have the certificates here as well. So this was pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.